Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay, evening, nice. Teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Well, today it is Friday. So, so siempre el jueves le digo. Good evening, Friday, teacher. Right? <laughs> Good evening, Katia. Hello. Thank you for being on time. Uh, thank you for your cameras. Oh my goodness, it is. You have a, an amazing background. Okay, I wish I could be there. Yes. Creo que todos quisiéramos estar ahí, right donde está Iris. Rosario, mira cómo le da el viento a la palmera. Eh? So nice. Okay, perfect. Yo solo porque no me permiten poner otro background que no sea el que ellos me dan, no porque ellos ap aparecieran en Acapulco aquí. <laughs> But I have to use the same background every single day. So that's the way it is. So we are going to start right now the class. Just give me one moment right here. And uh, well, it is Friday, but remember it's just one hour. So no se frustre, no se ponga ahí que ay, es viernes, hoy es vacación. Solo es una horita, ¿ok? Y creo que algunos han agarrado vacación porque no han ingresado, pero... Bueno, we have to, we have to continue, we have to do the class, we have to uh, work together, right? So let's see, let's see, let's see, we have to pass the attendance and um, let's see. Ya, ahí están ingresando más, acaba de entrar alguien más. Nice, so thank you Amilcar, nice to see you. Now you are at home and, and are you at home right now, Amilcar? Thank you. Ya finalizado hasta la tarea también. Hasta el examen. I'm sorry. Ya la finalicé todo hasta con. No, listen, listen to my question. Are you at home? Okay. Pero... Voy a conectar una voz porque no la escucho bien. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So Francisco, how are you, Francisco? Uh, hi, fi. I, I, I am. I am. I am. Okay, I am, I am fine. I am fine. Okay. Sorry. Nice. Let's see, Andrea. And you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm amazing because it's Friday and because I'm working. <laughs> I'm working. Okay. So Ana Mercedes, what about you? How you feel today, Ana Mercedes? Feel better. I feel good. Okay, you feel better, right? Yes. Nice. Thank you, Ana Mercedes. So, Sandra Amelia, what about you? How are you, Sandra Amelia? I'm fine, miss. I'm fine. So, a different way to say that you are fine, Amelia? I'm well. <laughs> I'm well. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're well. Let's see, Katia, Graciela, how are you? Ya no diga, I'm fine and I'm well. Tiene que decir otra cosa. Ajá. Voy a decir, teacher. Ajá. I'm fine, but uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Where, where are we going to sing a song, teacher? <laughs> when we are going to sing a song that's a nice question yes but uh unfortunately they don't allow to put a song okay so you know english corporativo they are the owners right so they have the rules okay there are many many okay. many things that we are not able to do it because it's not because of me, it's because of the policies from Inglés Corporativo and I have to follow the rules. Yo creo que soy la que más rompo las reglas de ellos porque me pongo a hablar con ustedes y me pongo okay. a, hacer, a hacer los chistes aquí, right? So, because Teacher. ellos van el manual, pegues el manual en así, cuadrado, ¿verdad? No van a escuchar aquí, pero... So, um, that's why, okay? But as a homework, okay. as a homework, personal homework, of course you can do it, but in the class no lo puedo hacer porque me van a censurar. Okay, el otro módulo tienen okay, otro maestro aquí. <laughs> okay, teacher. Nice, but it's nice if you if you um really really love music, 
any kind of music, romantic, perreo music, lo que sea, listen to it, yeah, but in English. Teacher, I love, okay. I love it's the Beatles. Ok, the Beatles, ok. Y ahí va a aprender buen inglés, mire, buen inglés con ese tipo de música. So, yeah, that's hey, why, that's you. why. Por eso hay muchas cosas que no puedo hacer, no porque yo no quiera. I have a question, teacher. Sino que, you know, go ahead, Francisco. My goodness, Francisco, you are full English today. My God. No, 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 no. Lo que pasa es que no, tengo no, una no, 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 no. In English, in English, please. <laughs> no, teacher. Oh, my God. I have a question no. is, oh, okay, um, you have a question. Uh, the music English, uh, la pronunciation. English uh, music, remember. English music, uh, sorry. Uh -huh. The English, English music. music. Um, pronunciation is the thunder. Um, no sé cómo se ha escuchado. Ajá, uh, de ver, se... el verbo escuchar, Francisco. No me acuerdo. <laughs> listen, listen. Listen. Oh, listen. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the pronunciation is um, thunder, thunder. I am not uh, correctly. No sé la pronunciación correcta. I'm uh, sorry. Ok, que okay, muchas veces he escuchado que No, no, la... my goodness, no, Francisco <laughs> um, uh, eh, English music, uh, listening, eh, thunder um, um, Pronunciation, thunder, thunder I am not yeah. eh, remember, really remember that, I don't know if that group I don't know if that is the song that you're talking No sé si es esa la que yo tengo en la mente But Uh, remember that we have different accents. So, no solo cantan norteamericanos en inglés. So, in English, we have music from all over the world, okay? Singers from all over the world. So, if they uh, use a different accent, so they will pronounce it different. But uh, thunder, so TH, right? Thunder, that is the pronunciation. But in English, I'm sorry, music, it's different. Okay, uh, sometimes we have a song and the pronunciation is totally different because they are singing. Okay, the same happened in Spanish. Cuando usted escucha una canción en español, hay unas palabras que no se escuchan como uno normalmente la pronuncia, pero es porque así va el tono de la canción. So ahí puede variar, pero en su 80, 90% de la canción, la pronunciación está exacta. Ok, puede haber tal vez alguna palabra ahí que se escuche un poco rara por el acento o el tono de la canción, pero, o sea, no, la música, eso le va a ayudar un montón con la pronunciación. Ok, so you, you better listen to music in English, of course, right? You better listen to music in English and try to learn the music, try to sing, try to imitate, right? So, my goodness, Amilcar, now, Thank you, teacher. tell me, how are you, Amilcar? No se me ha olvidado. You are on mute, Amilcar. There you go. Ahora sí, yo estaba hablando y tenía I'm cerrado sorry? el micrófono. In English, sorry, in English. Go ahead. Sorry, how are you? I am... Uh, I'm fine. Ok, Same. ya lo dijeron. I'm fine, I'm well, I'm bad. Uh, ya eso no lo puede decir. I'm so, so. Why so, so? No, menos. no why, why? Uh, I, uh, in my world, uh, it's very, very uh, uh, estresante. Stressful. Okay, okay, stressful because remember when we have a WH, solo vimos en el módulo anterior, when we have a WH, uh, why the answer will be with, start with a because. Oh, because I am very uh, stressful because of my job. Okay, nice. Okay, so I have to pass the attendance. Siempre se me olvida la asistencia. So let me let me see right here the attendance, and then we are going to uh, continue. Just give me one moment right here to open the list. Okay, please uh, let me know if you are here. 
So today it's Friday, right? It is Friday by real. <laughs> Let's see, Abigail uh, Noemi. Present. Nice. Adam Wilfredo. Thank you. Good Thank evening. you. Good evening. Nice. Alejandro Alfredo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Amilcar. That card. Hey, good evening, present teacher. Thank you. Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Nice. Andrea Michelle. Present. Nice. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Daisy Magdalena. Daisy Magdalena. No. Uh, then we have Edith Del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Edith. Uh, Daisy, ahí solo que no se le escucha el audio. Ah, okay. So let me see, put it something in the chat. Daisy, please. Uh, let's see, Elisa Cristina. Elisa Cristina. No. Francisco. Aquí, teacher. I'm here. Um... Okay. Francisco. <laughs> oh, goodness. Francisco. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Iris Regina, pobrecito. De decir los compañeros. Ay, Francisco, pobrecito. Pero no se preocupe, Francisco, la idea es que usted aprenda, eso es lo que yo quiero. Lo sé, lo sé, lo sé. Por eso mi madre dice que le manda, le manda aplausos por hacerme hablar en inglés a la fuerza. <risa> Iris Regina. It's here, teacher. Thank you, Iris. Nice. Uh, Iris Rosario. Present. Nice. Katy. Luis Alonso. Ahí está. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, no lo he visto. Miguel Angel. No. Qué raro, Miguel Angel. Eh, oops, ¿qué hice acá? Ok, let's see. We have Nadia y Solina. Ahí está. Present eh, teacher. Thank you, Reina Jamilet. Reina, no la he visto. Reina. ¿Dónde? Where? Where, where are you? Estoy. Ok, no le veo la cámara. Ahí está, ahí está, Reina Jamilet. Eh, como estoy aquí viendo, cuando usted habla, aquí me aparece a mí. No me aparecía. Let's see. Uh, Sandra Amelia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Nice. Eh, Sandra Mabel. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Tania Pamela. Here, teacher. Thank you. Vilma Haiti. Present. Teacher. Thank you, Wendy Abigail. Present teacher. Nice. Thank you. So we are going to validate at the end, okay? Just in case if we have someone else in the attendance. So nice. Let me see right here in the chat. Okay. Edit. And Daisy Magdalena, let me put your attendance. Uh, Daisy, 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 Daisy Magdalena. Okay. And edit. Nice. So let's start. Let me share the screen really quick. Okay. So that's what we learned yesterday. Did you remember that we mentioned some important places, right? Important places that we can have in a city, right? So we have a few words right here, a few places. We mention more. Let's see if you take notes or if you remember. It is Rosario. How do you say alcaldía in English? I no remember, teacher. Okay, no eh, problem. Uno que se I'm sorry, City Francisco, Hall. you're talking in Spanish. <laughs> uh, I remember. Uh, I remember. I remember. I remember. City Hall. Okay, there you go. There you go. Alejandro Alfredo, another way to say alcaldía in English. Ah, Alejandro. 
principal. Ah, the okay. Principal. The principal office, okay? The principal main, office. Main Another office. main office, okay? Another one. Town hall. Uh, town hall. The town, town hall. hall, okay? I'm sorry, um, my beautiful. microphone is enough. <laughs> Okay, what's up, Alejandro Alfredo? It's okay. So remember, the idea is that you have to keep the words on mind, right? So the Nasir, because the more you know, the more you I'm sorry. Spell me alcaldia, please. Can be main, as uh, a main uh, office, town hall, city hall. So there are different uh, ways to say alcaldia, okay? It's not just one. Ahí póngamelos en el chat a Luis Alonso. Ponga ahí todas las que mencionamos, alcaldía. Escríbalo ahí, Luis Alonso, ¿ok? Nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Adam Wilfredo. Let's see. Another place that we mentioned yesterday, Adam Wilfredo. Which one do you remember? Remember the mention uh, airport. The airport, the airport, the airport, okay, the airport. Okay, um, nice, what else? Something else? Uh -huh. The stadium teacher. The stadium, okay. Fire station. Fire hospital. station, hospital, the nurse. Movie theater. Museum, movie, movie theater, cinema, church, the church, church. The park. Okay, thank you. Nice. Uh, let's see. Let's let's continue because of the time, right? So, but the idea is that you have to keep those words in mind, right? De nada sirve que lo anoten el cuaderno si no se le queda aquí. Okay, si no se le queda aquí hay que hacer una plana. Cinco veces, diez veces, hasta las que se le quede aquí la palabra, cómo se escribe y cómo se pronuncia. Si ya la tiene acá, ya, ¿ok? So you will get the word forever, right? So let's see, we have a conversation right here. Let me make it a little bigger right here. And the conversation, it says, it's across from the park, ¿ok? I will do the conversation. I will read it just one time. And if you have a new work or something that you don't know, we will see uh, later, right? So this is a conversation between a man and, and a woman, okay? It says, uh, excuse me, can you help me? It's, uh, there a public restroom around here? A, a public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a uh, restroom, okay? Uh, well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Uh, where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of First, uh, on the corner of Main and First. Uh, yeah, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Uh, thanks a lot, okay? So that is the conversation. Do we have any new work? Something that you don't know? Across teacher. Across. Uh huh. Across. What would be across? Contigo teacher. Mm -hmm. O frente. Esperen, me que alguien activa ahí el 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 micrófono. Este. Be careful ahí con los que tienen audio abierto porque se escucha mucho ruido. Across okay. no es enfrente. Across. Ajá. Across from, a la par o enfrente. Cruzando la calle. A través de. Ajá. Ok. So, ahí está. Tiene muchos uh, significados. Ok. So, pero en este caso estamos este, de, hablando de directions. Ok. It says from one side to the other, a place area. I, I'm run across the street, ¿ok? Entonces sería como de un lado al otro, ¿ok? Cruzando. So, uh -huh, cruzando, más o menos así, ¿right? Uh, nosotros en español usamos, la verdad, ese tipo de expresiones. Estoy vivo cruzando la calle, ¿verdad? O que en, el, en, como les dijera, las direcciones en español, nada que ver con... con, con 
las direcciones en inglés, right? Porque en inglés, people, they know. They know the names of the streets, right? Usted pregunta a cualquier norteamericano una dirección y le van a decir así como en la conversación. Go to the main street, uh, go down to the uh, first or 10 avenue. Okay, so that's the way they do it, right? Here in El Salvador, if you ask for something, le dicen, mire, es que ando buscando el hospital, no sé, el hospital Sacamil. Vaya, mire, se va en tal bus, le dicen. Y ahí va a haber la parada, se, pa se baja ahí en la parada, allí no es, le dicen. Ahí va a haber un palo de mango bien grande en la esquina. Ahí va a haber, enfrente está el pollo campero, le dicen. No, estoy inventando, va, no sé dónde, dónde está, pero... Question, teacher. Ya. Teacher, I have a cross es en, porque según dice ahí, está enfrente del parque. Mm -hmm. It is across from the park. Exacto, ahí sería, sí, está enfrente del parque. Mm -hmm. Pero oh. también um, across sería como a la vuelta de, más o menos por ahí. O sea, puede tener diferentes significados. Bien, eh, Thank you, teacher. No, no problem. So I was uh, saying, Eso Francisco. Yo, Eso le iba a preguntar. I'm de sorry, este Francisco. Eso le iba a preguntar. No, I'm de... sorry, Francisco. <laughs> My question is: um, uh -huh. the pronunciation, pron, pron, pronunciation, the pronunciation, the pronunciation, um, a la vuelta de. Um, uh, That would be on the corner. Ok, oh, en la okay. esquina, así decimos nosotros, right? Mm -hmm. A la vuelta de la esquina. Ok, so that would be on the corner. Ok, oh, the okay, corner es so la esquina. So, as I told you, we Salvadorians somos malos para las direcciones, porque si viene alguien y le dice, mire, váyase por la 49 Avenida Norte, de ahí dobla por la séptima, no. Nah. Le dicen, mire, a la par del pollo campero que está ahí enfrente de la iglesia, está así. Ah, ahí va a haber un palo de mango, ahí no es, le dice, pero se pasa al otro lado y ahí va a ver usted tal cosa. So, nosotros no, no nos podemos los nombres de las calles. Nosotros nos ubicamos por lugares y a veces por lugares no tan buenos, ¿verdad? Esas son las referencias. Ok, so, but in English is different. So, any other work? Any other word right here in the conversation? Everything is clear? What is a uh, rest teacher. room? Go ahead, uh, Alejandro, uh, I guess. What is the corner? The corner? La esquina, okay? okay. La esquina. So yo le digo mm -hmm. around the corner, alrededor de la, de la vuelta, la esquina, right? Yo vivo en la esquina del de la panadería, in the corner of the bakery, right? So, nice. What okay. is rest room? What is that? Si no me los me acuerdas como los I'm sorry, baños, Francisco. ¿no? I don't remember. I remember, I remember. I remember. Simple uh, present. <laughs> I <laughs> remember <laughs> rest room. Um, significa baño o algo así. Ah, okay, that would be like a public. Baño público. Le, there you go. Okay, el suyo que usted tiene en la casa, ¿cómo se llama el que tiene usted en la casa? Bathroom. bathroom. Okay, the bathroom. bathroom. Okay, a bathroom. Ese es el que usted tiene en la casa, pero el que está en el mall, in a public place, that would be a restroom. Okay, because it's not just for you, it's for everywhere, everyone, right? Nice. So let's see, we have, we are going to practice the conversation just one or two times because of the time, right? So let's see, Ana Mercedes, you will be the lady. And uh, let's see, Luis Alonso, please help us be the man. So go ahead, please. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there are restrooms in the department store on Main Street. 
Where? On Main Street. It's on the corner of a May and First Avenue. <clears throat> on the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Hey, nice, very nice pronunciation. Just department, okay? Department, that would be the pronunciation. Department, department, department. okay? Uh, what is that expression if I say uh, you can miss it? ¿Qué le está diciendo? You can miss it. En el contexto de la conversación. Eh, no puedes, puedes perderte. perderte. No, okay. puedes perder. no te puedes perder. O sea, ahí es obvio que ahí va a haber el gran eh, lugar que, que donde lo está mandando. ¿verdad? O sea, no, no hay donde perderse, le dice usted. No te vas a perder. Ahí vas a ver el pollo campero en la esquina, le dice. Ahí solo te cruzas la calle, ahí va a estar. So that's the, the expression, right? So we have time just for one more, okay? One more, and that will be uh, Vilma Haiti. So you will be the lady, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Vamos a aprovechar que tenemos acá a Don Amilcar. So be the man, please. Uh, go ahead, please. Excuse me, can you hear me? Uh, is here a public restroom uh, around here? Around here. A public restroom. Um, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son uh, needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department, department store main street. street. Uh, where on my street? Can you please? It's on the corner of May and the First Avenue. Avenue. On, on the corner of May and um, First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Uh, thanks. I, I love. Okay, nice. Let's see around. Ahí en esa palabra hay que abrir la boca. Si usted no abre la boca, around, así no es. Around, no. Around. around. Háganle todos. Around. around. Y la familia que está un poco subado, uh, pero wow. es que así es, ok, around, ok, Francisco, go ahead with your question. Uh, what does it mean, uh, thank a lot? Thanks a lot, thanks uh -huh. a lot, thanks muchas a lot. gracias, uh, ok, around, thank you, es gracias. Oh, gracias, thanks a lot, muchas Gracias. Okay. So around here, around here. Around. So let's see what else. No me diga fierce. Así se escribe. Fierce. La pronunciación es first. Y eso ya lo hemos visto el primer día. First. No me diga fierce. Okay. Fear es otra cosa. Okay. First. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see what else. You can miss it. Ok, lo único que cuando usted está leyendo no lo haga así como que tan pausado. Ok, yo le voy a decir you can miss it. Ok, no le digo you can miss it. No, verdad, o sea, muy eh, pausado, se escucha eso muy cortado. Ok, so let's continue. Ok, because of the time we have to move on. So look what we have right here. Prepositions of place, ok? So, prepositions of place. Usted ya ha visto otras preposiciones en el módulo 1. Creo yo que se ven las, unas prepositions, right? So, these ones are other ones. That, these ones are for directions, ok? Estas son preposiciones de lugar. Igual que en español, hay preposiciones de tiempo, de modo, de cantidad, and so on, and so on, right? So, estas son prepositions of 
place, the lugar. Okay, we have on, on the corner of, across, uh, from, next to, and between. Look at the look at the pictures. Let me see if I can uh, see different this. So look, on. Okay, on. Aquí está. Vea la 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 x, the cross that is right here. On. Okay. ¿Qué es cómo vendría siendo on? En. En. En o okay. sobre. En o sobre. Okay. There you go. Okay. Usted me dice, ah, yo vivo sobre la tercera. I am on the third street. On the main street. Okay. Then we have on the corner. Vea dónde está la little cross right here. Esquina. On the corner of, uh -huh, there you go, in la esquina de, okay? I live in the corner of First Avenue, en la esquina de la Primera Avenida, okay? So then we have across front, miren, aquí está the little uh, X, right? Across front, ¿qué viene siendo la cross front? Frente. Frente a. Frente a, cruzando la calle, en español, nosotros no decimos, ay, yo vivo cruzando la que ustedes en enfrente de, así decimos, right? enfrente de, so, pero eh, iba a depender del contexto de nuestra traducción, right? So, uh, then we have uh, next to, what would be next to, look at the cross la right here. Pues a, la la de. De. a la par de, a la okay? par de. A la parte, next to the main street, next to the park, next to the clinic, right? So next to, uh, then we have uh, between, between, what would be between? Entre. 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 Así en decimos medio. nosotros. Usted busca la traducción, dice en medio de. Pero nuestro salvadoreño decimos, ah, yo vivo entre la peluquería y la panadería, right? So, es decir, que está en medio de esos dos lugares, right? So, those are the prepositions that we have. Uh, let's see, Kathy, help us with the, uh, these three uh, sentences right here. Please read the three sentences that we have right here. Uh, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of May and First. It's across from the park. Okay. So, Kathy, First or First? First, teacher. Oh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. First. You see, you know, you know. Okay. So, uh, nice. Uh, Sandra, Mabel, continue with the other three sentences, please. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department, the department store and the restaurant. Okay, restaurant, right? Restaurant, nice. So those are the examples that we have. So we have right here, like a map. I don't know if you can see the full, okay, like this, I guess you can see the, the full map. Okay, look, we have a map. Probably this is a, a main a city and we have different places, okay? I can see right here like a gas station. I see doctors or hospitals right here. We have a post office, a US post office. We have a second avenue bookstore. What else we have? We have a park. We have a department store. We have the city bank. Uh, we have a restaurant right here. We have a movie theater. We have a park. We have a, a shoes store. We have a coffee shop right here. We have a supermarket. We have a drugstore. So look, different, different, different places, right? So the idea is to know how to say where any place is. For example, let's see Nadia Isolina. If I say, uh, Nadia, uh, where is the department store? Nadia, where is the department store? The apartment store is um, on Main Street, uh, next to the city bank. There you go, nice, okay, perfect, nice. Elisa Cristina, where is Ale Coffee Shop? 
Where is Ale Coffee Shop? Elisa, Cristina. La teacher, no sé dónde está. No la encuentro. Si me la señala por ahí. Me too. I don't see. I... Teacher, I don't see. It. Oh, yes. Es yeah, al lado. Go ahead, Cristina. Sí, ya, ya lo vi, teacher. Disculpe, I'm sorry. Um, uh, is, it is choose uh, and friends on next to um, Goodness, ya me dijo market. como tres propositions. <laughs> just one, okay? On, in first, uh -huh, just one. Elisa, where is it? Next to a uh, supermarket. And it's not in next to the supermarket. The supermarket is in the other street. The street. Entonces sería... Next to the Ok, vamos a ver, le va a ayudar, le va a ayudar, le va a ayudar. Uh, Reina Chamilet, go ahead. Where is Ale Coffee Shop? Um, it's the coffee shop um, next to shoes. Okay, yeah, the coffee shop is next to the uh, shoes uh, store, okay? So nice, it is. Sandra Elizabeth, another way to say where is the coffee shop? Hay otra opción ahí para poder decir a dónde está. Uh, Sandra Elizabeth. In, uh, sería... Or in English. Um, the coffee shop is uh, is in the corner of the second avenue there you go okay it's on the corner of the second avenue right está en la esquina o sea está ahí al final okay so en, en las preposiciones que estamos viendo no está eso pero eh, hay otra opción de poder decir es in the um, at the end, okay, at the end of Second Avenue or at the beginning. I don't know if this is the beginning of the, the end, right? So that could be another option, but it's not in the auction right here, right? So Francisco, I don't know if you raise your hand. I have a question, picture. Um, my own no um, is um, on, on the corner and um, next to the shows. I am not. Is correct. Yeah, no, both no, are no. correct. Both are correct. Okay. Thank you. okay. Alguien me puede decir, mire, está enfrente de el movie theater. So it's also okay. So the coffee shop is in front of the uh, movie theater. So can be okay. So ahí depende la, la, la preposición que usted quiera escoger. Solo puede ocupar una, aunque las opciones pueden ser dos hasta tres. Entonces, teacher, sería entonces. A I'm cor, sorry. A so, <laughs> so I'm Cornel, uh, Second Avenue uh, next to the movie, movie chair. No, it's not next to. Next okay, to it is next to the to shoes shop, right? It is in front of the movie theater. Oh, okay, 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 sorry. I'm thinking. In front or, yeah, in the movie theater. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, look at the map and complete that sentence. Then compare with a partner. So let me take a screenshot right here about the, uh, the sentences and also for, for the map. Okay, le voy a mandar el mapa, aunque ahí lo tienen ustedes, ¿verdad? O sea, en el manual. Pero just in case, if you don't have the manual, the manual with you. Oops. So let me put it right here in the chat. And we are going to work in groups, right? So we are going to see the answers together. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm sharing the two pictures right here. Just let me cook them. And what we are going to do, we are going to see the map 
and we are going to complete the sentences. Okay, ahí están unas oraciones. Hay que completarlas en base a el mapa, right? So are we clear what we are going to do? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let me stop sharing right here the screen and let me create the groups. So we have three minutes only, okay? Vamos a hacer los grupos un poco grandecitos para que entre más, más opiniones rápido vamos a, a terminar porque tenemos poco tiempo, okay? So we are going to have four groups only, okay? So rapidito cuando llegue la uno es esto, la dos, la tres, la cuatro y lo terminamos, right? So let's do it right now. Hello. Hello, hello. Se salió. Only me. Ya, yeah, ahorita la, la vamos a mover. Estamos en small groups, pero vi que no se conectó. Creo que fue el internet que le falló. Ahorita la voy a mover a la sala. Ok. Thank you, Miss. Ok. Thank you.
Hello teacher, hello teacher. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Aha, you see. I'm forcing yourself to talk in English and now you are singing in English. Miguel. Teacher. Teacher. Very, very teacher. I have a problem with internet because you were doing a remix, a remix. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, teacher. Good yeah. evening. Good evening, Miguel Angel. What happened to you? Why you were late to the class? You are always on time. What happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuses, excuses. No, I'm sorry, Miguel and Joe. Tuesday is Friday, teacher. Yeah, because it's Friday. Because teacher. It's Friday. If the body, if the body lo sabe. I, I don't uh -huh. know. How do you say that? <laughs> how, do you not, uh -huh. how do you say that in English? Uh, if the body, um, the no, the new, no, no, no I don't know. Uh -huh. It's Friday and the body knows. Okay, now it. Thank it's, you. Okay, sir. lo sabe, know it. Okay, and the body know it. Nice. Okay, so did you complete the sentences and everything? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we have 10 minutes. Let me share the screen one more time. Okay, I will do it a, a smaller because I need the sentence and I need the I need the the picture right here, the map. So let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día. Vamos a ver. Andrea Michelle. So start with the first one, number one, please. Number one, teacher. Yep. Seria the coffee. The coffee shop is on second A. Avenue. Avenue. Thank you. It's next to the shoe store. Okay, that's nice. The coffee shop. It's on the. Uh, on Second Avenue, it's next to right next to the shoes, the shoe store. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, number two, I uh, will be for uh, let's see, Miguel Angel. The movie theater it's across from. Bar in the main, it's on the park. Okay, so let's see. It says the movie theater is the movie theater is across from park and main. It is on the park. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, I guess it's correct, right? The movie theater it's Across, uh, across from the parking main, okay, the main street, and it's what will be there? It's the park. It's, it's any? On the park. Mm, no, it's not on the park. It's front. In front, okay. It's in front, okay. In okay. front of the park. Nice. The Thank next you. one. Thank you, Miguel Angel. Uh, Luis, Dios mío, Luis, hoy porque no le he preguntado nada a usted. Dios. ¿Cómo no? Yo me pregunto. <laughs> Number three, please. Uh, yo me costó un poco ver la imagen, pero eh, the gas station is across from the parking lot. Is on the on the cross net facing. In center, perdón, is on the corner of first and center. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
Thank you, Luis. Let's see the gas station, right? The gas station is right here. So the gas station is uh, park across, uh -huh, porque está en la, en la, en la esquina, right? So across, the gas station is across or next to, aquí podría, porque el parking lot, okay? El parking lot, the gas station is next to the parking lot, is across the first and center. Okay, aquí está la Center Street, and this is the first. Está en la esquina de la unión de estas dos calles, right? So that would be, yeah, it is next to the park and across from the first and center. There you go. Nice. Uh, let's see, Ana Mercedes, continue with the number four. Sorry, Ana Mercedes, you are on mute. I'm sorry. Okay. The post office is on center and second is next to the hospital. Okay, nice. Hospital, right? Hospital. Uh, what is the post office? It's right here, right? So the post office is on center and second. And second. Center and second. Mm -hmm. It's next to, uh -huh, next to the hospital. So, alguien puso algo diferente acá en el post office. The post office okay. on the corner okay. center okay. and second is next to the hospital. Okay, the is post nine. office is on the corner. The, the corner. corner. Okay, yeah, center and second. Okay, yeah, it is, it is there. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Abigail, Noemi. So continue with the uh, number five, please. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store. It's on the main yeah, street. Perfect. There you go. The city bank right here, right? The bank. It's between, okay, the restaurant. The I'm sorry, yeah, the restaurant says right here. And the department store, okay? It's on Main Street. Nice, okay, perfect. So nice, we got it. So tomorrow, les iba a decir, next week, we are going to continue with the last part that we have from this lesson and we are going to do the, the next one, okay? So we are almost in the middle, okay, today. Uh, we are in the middle of the course, right? So what is middle? Middle, middle. A la mitad. Okay, so vamos a la mitad, right? Vamos a la mitad de el curso, right? So we are in the middle. So two more weeks and we are over and over and over. So let me validate the attendance really quick right here. You know that I always mention the people that it doesn't have uh, attendance. So Elisa Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Elisa. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. So then the rest, you all have attendance, okay? So you do have the attendance. So today was an special day because we don't really have classes right on Friday, but you know that it was because of the Mother's Day. So then we are going to have like, you know, eight more classes and we will be over. So mute, Miguel Angel, please. Ahí está su micrófono activo, déjeme poner silent aquí. Uh, be careful with your audio. So nice, as I told you, two more weeks. So en teoría usted ahora, 
tiene que estar terminando el midterm exam, right? hasta la medianoche. Ya mañana trabajan los administrativos de inglés corporativo, si usted no ha trabajado, mañana van a mandar al grupo, fulanito, sutanito, ¿qué pasó? ¿Por qué está atrasado? ¿Por qué no ha trabajado? Así es que eh, tratemos de llegar hasta el, el midterm exam, tiene que estar la sección 3 y el, el examen de mitad de curso, completo. Ok, so next week, that will be the section number four. Ok, la otra semana usted tendría que estar empezando la sección cuatro de la plataforma. Ok, so please do your job, right? Do your part. If you have questions or something, yeah, you can text me, you can write me and I can help you. Ok, so thank you for coming in. Enjoy your weekend, right? So it's weekend, enjoy your weekend, and I hope to see you on Monday, okay? So thank you. Bye-bye. Enjoy your bye weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Present.